The FBI Director Chris Ray says document mishandling investigations are a, quote, regular part of the agency's work. Can you give us a sense of how often sensitive material gets misplaced, especially by the executive branch, and especially part of what we heard during a period of transition from one administration to another? Yeah. As a general matter, mishandling happens more than it should. It, it is a problem. The key thing, though, the Department of Justice looks at is intentionality. Is there evidence that someone intentionally did something wrong? Because if you look, if you investigated and prosecuted using FBI resources, every accidental case, th there's not enough FBI agents in the country to do that. It does happen that often. So the system is largely built on trust. There's still a lot of um, things they do with auditing and stuff like that and background checks and polygraphs. But a huge part of the system is trust. And so they trust people to do the right thing, even when they do something accidentally wrong. So what Biden did and what Pence did here and coming forward is something that the Department of Justice and intelligence agencies value. And that's why I think those cases will be disposed of differently than the Trump case. Thank you for leading me to exactly where I wanted to go, Jill, which is, uh, this is the point, right? There, there's sort of, there's the systems, there's the structure, and there's clearly a lot of cleanup work that needs to be done. We're going to talk about that in a second. But from a legal perspective, how do you establish this question of intent, of intentionality? In most cases, it's going to be circumstantial evidence. In this case, um, you have testimony, basically, or statements by Pence and Trump and Biden. And some of those are pretty bad. Um, I think we can safely conclude that so far what Biden and Pence have said is, this was a mistake. I didn't know they were there. And then you have the evidence against Trump that is very clearly showing it was in his desk drawer with his passport, something that he would have had access to. These others were in boxes that may never have been opened from the time they were moved to the residence. That doesn't mean it was right to be there, but it's a different circumstance than when it is deliberately taken there. And when it is deliberately withheld when discovered. So in, in two of the cases, Pence and Biden, the National Archives didn't even know they were missing documents. Whereas in the case of Donald Trump, they knew and they asked for them. They asked nicely, they negotiated, then there was a subpoena, and then there was a search warrant. None of that was necessary in these other circumstances. So in terms of the law and in terms of what's a prosecutable case, one is and two so far are not. Right. I mean, the fact, Brian, that we're talking about Pence, that we're talking about Biden, you now have lawmakers from both parties want to reform the classification system. Take a listen. What the hell is going on around here is my reaction. You know, look, obviously there's a systemic problem in the executive branch. I'm talking about two successive administrations from two different parties. We got a broken system and we got to fix this for all folks leaving government and for those inside government. So, Brian, talk me through that. What does changing it, what does fixing it look like, and how can Congress or the Biden administration actually take action? Yeah, while there is a problem with the mishandling generally across the intelligence community and the executive branch, here, I think this is a fairly unique situation that stems from how classified information is handled at the White House. While I worked at the CIA in most classified environments, things are very segregated. The entire CIA, except for the common areas, is considered to be a skiff. It's very easy to not mishandle classified information there because you consider everything classified. Whereas in an agency like the Department of Commerce, they might have a skiff in the basement and they go do their classified work there maybe one hour a week and the rest is unclassified. When we have the White House, you've got a sort of toxic mix of classified and unclassified conversations happening almost at the same time, definitely in the same places. And that's not what we have everywhere else. So this is, I think, a fairly unique situation relating to the White House. Combine that with the fact that presidents and vice presidents have a lot of personal documents. Combine that with the chaotic final days where they're working until the last second. That, to me, is the heart of the problem here, and the reform should really focus on that.